a man. Psych. This is a great tool team bash in this thing. Take on my NXT and a fine great tool team in this thing. <laughs> Get his powers out. I'm going to show him the first time I've seen him. Get his powers out. 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 Get his powers Fame song. Hold on. Run it and run. What's gonna happen here tonight? 
great jump take. Bash hit it up. Samar Jai. July 7th. I should be going to Belize right now. Fuck the government. Fuck the judge. Fuck the court. Fuck the police. And this bitch. I don't know why I was here, but I always afforded you respect. Last week was crazy. Last week was beyond insane, and I love every single minute of it. But now I'm back in control. I'm back of being that enforcer. That enforcer to run here on NXT. Not to happen, not to let shit happen again last week. I had to do was what I gotta do. Because you see, it's a war. Be, it's a war here on, in the wrestling world. It's a world everywhere you go. It's a war in the star. In the goddamn zoo, anywhere, go outside to take out the goddamn trash, you get your ass kicked. You get shot up, you get a drive by and everything, and I'm go one on one, stood up face to face with with goddamn Mike Tyson last week. So you know it's a war here on Wednesday night. And AEW, you know what they did. They planned this whole shit. From the get go, of Mike Tyson knocking out Triple H. I got a freaking black guy because of it last week. But I didn't run like a no bitch. Because I'm. This is where I belong. Here on NXT. So I'm gonna run this shit. And I'll be damn, I wish. I want Mike Tyson to come back. I want anybody to come back. To think. To jump on me. And just best believe that I'm gonna provoke. And just best believe I'm gonna push your ass to sleep. And best believe I'm gonna kick your ass out the building by my damn self if you try to mess with me. <laughs> but just know I'm here to do what's to do. To do what I gotta do. To be a freaking enforcer. To run this here on NXT. To make it. To make this show smooth. To make it smooth, the rest since from the beginning to the, all the way to the end. For not to be a, a mayhem, to be out of control like last week. So I'm gonna do what I gotta do to make this smooth. But it's gonna be one hell of a show, no doubt about it. A lot of match, so many matches here tonight. And I don't have the time to deal with some small time punks. Like Lars Sullivan, like Mike Tyson, like or anybody. But I'm gonna work my ass off. And Triple H will be back. And continue this war. Or no midget. Like Taz. So like I said, I know you're ready. Uh oh. First time meeting with you, Samar Joe. My name is Keith Lee. It was good to meet you, Keith. But I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm glad that you're here. You know, I respect you, but, you know what I'm saying, I'm not, I don't know why you're interrupting, interrupting me. 
right now, Keith. Yeah. Yeah, I know what happened last week, and I know you got the balls of, of you fighting Mike Tyson. I'm, and also, I also got my ass kicked by that gold medalist son of a bitch, Kurt Angle, last week. So, and he challenged me to a match. And I guess, well... I got a lot of I got a lot of things on my plate here tonight, but we'll go on. I know I saw what happened last week and Kurt Angle or what he did last week, but I don't. I said that this is gonna be NXT, so I don't I don't want that bald head bastard. I want the bald head son of a bitch here tonight. For the NXT Championship, but I pretty much proved what I did last Friday night on SmackDown. Going to SmackDown and a little spirit bomb to his ass last on Friday night SmackDown on his own show. But you see, you said he's gonna be here tonight, and you know what? for one time. For one time, I'm gonna let that summer bitch show up here on NXT. And Keith Lee, you better kick his ass. And you better not lose that NXT championship tonight. Thanks. Hold up, hold up. My Kurt Angle is gonna be here here tonight. I mean, his guy's team angle. I have to celebrate the fact that there is an understanding. This was a gun on my own. Opportunity created this. Chances created this. I understand I'm not a self-made man. There's no such thing as that. I have to acknowledge the fact that Tim Brooks was more than just a trainer for me. Tim Brooks was like a father. He was there when no one else was, and he believed in me when no one else did. Okay. There's one more person that's been playing I don't even think you really have to do it, but the fact is, I saw him backstage. And I know, you're the point where you have to decide what you're doing with the rest of the career of the WWE. I feel like, maybe just maybe, I can help you out with that, because I'm not just celebrating for me, I'm celebrating for Tim Brooks. I'm celebrating for the NXT and WWE Universe. And so right now, I'd like to have a talk with my number one family, Dominic. Joe, but I'm not done yet. And I'm thank you. I appreciate that you give me that match with Kurt Angle. But I'm not done. Samoa Joe. I'm not done. I saw what happened last week. And I know that you're the guy. You're the enforcer. But I saw you. I need to, to meet with you in this ring. 
and from everybody here in San Jose, in San Jose here in the NXT universe, and you've been a former NXT champion, and I know in your heart, in your fighting, in your fighting soul, in your blood that you live and breathe NXT, and you live and breathe to become champion. And I know you want to fight even more after, well, receiving a black eye. And I know you've been eyeing, eyeing my NXT Championship. Been eyeing my championship. And has been seeing, looking at a... You know what? You are some, you are some special kind of crazy my friend you think you can take me I'm the most naturally gifted superstar in NXT universe that's not even close I just told the world I just told that I'm that I'm not gonna fight tonight I'm gonna do my job so what about the small draw I know that. I get that. But you want to shine. You want to fight. And I don't know. Don't back down from my challenge, Samar Joe. No. This is. You know it, that I know it. But this is a dream match. A fight that you want to make hist historic here tonight to become a three time NXT champion. Lee, is either you got a death wish, or you really, really need to focus, because you're asking for too much, and I respect the hell out of it, as you're becoming a fighting NXT champion, are we going to... This, for this match, for one time, we make it a triple threat match tonight for the NXT Championship. Or you can or Samar Joe. What'd you say? Like I said, I'm gonna do my damn job to to know to be in charge here in this show and not let things get out of hand like what happened last week you saw what happened last week so I know but I'm talking about tonight but this the exact same bullshit is not gonna happen until last week we know that so you're gonna see how tough you are But don't let the fans down. If some if something does shows up, then we'd be ready for that. We'd be ready for what happens, what occurs here on NXT. I see. I, I don't. Keith Lee, you just don't understand. You don't. You don't know how much I'm gonna put. Bitches asleep. Or, or it was that last week. What happened last week? When Mike Tyson knocked you out, give you a black eye. Don't tell me that shit softened you up. Don't tell me that you became becoming a bitch. You some more Joe. You want you know what? You want to you want me in that match? You want you want? Then your eyes got it, Keith. And like I said, don't you made a death wish in this bitch? And I'm gonna put your ass to sleep. I'm gonna put Kurt Angle to sleep. I'm gonna put the entire arena to sleep because you 
misunderstood, you misunderstand, because Keith Lee, I'm no, nobody's bitch, and I got tired. Some more, Joe, then, then, then that's final. I will, I'll see you later on tonight. You're not going anywhere, boy. Those things will take the bass out of your voice. I respect the whole lot out of you. But, I'm t but tonight, you're going to have the worst ass whooping of your life tonight. What I did last week with that with that Shrek face, son of a bitch, Lars Sullivan, when I put his ass to a, to a table. Not only a table, a flaming table. Oh, shit. Listen, it's a more job, but can't like, oh, hell, break it off.